What's going on everyone? Blake here, back for another video on the channel. And in this one today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you a reflection on my journey as to how I was able to generate my first $10,000 day with my online business without having to do any sales calls. So in this one, stay tuned as I walk through the entire process to how I made this happen, along with some key lessons learned along the way. So in diving straight into today's video, I'd like to give a little context to start as to where I was at in my journey when this moment hit. So. To give you guys a little bit of context, some areas that I like to focus on when talking on this is going to be number one, how big was my audience? For those of you wondering, Blake, did you have a massive audience when you were able to make this first $10,000 a day happen? The answer was no. I actually had less than a thousand members in my free Facebook community. In fact, less than probably 600 members at the time. And my email list was at less than a thousand email subscribers at roughly 700 to be exact. And at this time, my audience was pretty significantly small. So it wasn't as though I had a massive following and a massive audience to make this happen. There was one key event that I ran that allowed me to expedite this process to make this possible and also allowed me to remove sales calls from the process. Now, this is just one way of many ways to do this, but what I'm doing here is just sharing with you a real story from myself, my journey, and the moment that this took place for the first time in my journey itself. This came possible through a challenge that I was running at the time with my online business. It was right after my first year of hitting six figures with my online business. So I kind of went from having my first $1,000 day, first $5,000 a month a few months later, first $10,000 a month a few months after that, and was able to sustain those $10,000 a month through the end of the year, uh, allowing me to ultimately achieve 100K in revenue that first year of online business success itself. So going into the second year, as I was starting to establish my coaching offer and my coaching program as a whole, I was offering a group coaching program that is still available and runs to this day, that's still getting awesome results that has now been around for over two years now and is continuing to get better and better and better as we continue to develop it further. And at the time, this is in the early stage of the offer, so the price was a little bit lower and the price at this point was at $2,500. So I had a high ticket offer of $2,500 that I was selling at the time. So when it comes to making sales in these offers, we know that we need to get attention and the amount of attention that we need to be able to create the interest and opportunities that we want to be able to make that $10,000 a day possible. So during this moment in my journey, what I did was run a free five day challenge. And I know there's a lot of talk about there about how five day challenges are so much work and how they're a waste of time, so on and so forth. People aren't into them. The point is at this point in my journey, five day challenges worked pretty, pretty well, as you can see here from this result. And more importantly, although it was work to put it together, it was fulfilling work to see what was able to take place by the end of that challenge itself, which is pretty cool to see when looking back on. So I did five days of free training where I did about an hour to a 45 minute to an hour long live video each day for five days. And prior to that, I had promoted this challenge that it was coming and the fact that it was taking place on X date. So I was able to get roughly 220 people registered for this challenge itself. Now, for many of you that have not run a challenge before, who have not run a live event before, you may not know that although if you get X amount of people to sign up for this free live event, like this challenge, for example, there's only going to be a subset of those people that actually show up and take part in the challenge and attend the challenge. So it's my job as the leader of that challenge itself to get as many people as possible actively engaged, showing up, consuming the content, enjoying the value that I'm putting out, seeing that value, and also starting to put it to motion so they can also see the results that come from what I'm teaching itself. So when kicking off this five-day challenge, with the just over 200 registrants we had, we ended up having roughly about 65 members showing up to the lives each and every single day. A few new members each day, but roughly on average, we were achieving about 60 to 65 live viewers on each and every one of the days of the live challenge itself. So the cool part about those live viewers that joined me and took part in this challenge is I also gamified the challenge in a way that encouraged them to take part in each and every day. So the more people that showed up to not just one day of the challenge, but two days, three days, four days, and to the very last fifth day, each and every day they attended, they got more bonus points towards the scholarship that we were giving away at the end of the challenge itself, which helped encourage more members that were taking part in that to actively show up and participate in it. So that was a big help in terms of show up rate in that live challenge itself and getting more of those members that registered, engaged, live, and taking part in what we were talking on. So along with getting bonus points for showing up to each and every one of the day's live challenge, we also sent out reminders each day to remind our members that registered to, hey, Day number two is kicking off, day number three is kicking off, all encouraging them to show up. And along with that, 
point number three that we did to help with show up rate on the challenge itself was also incorporating action items after each and every day. It wouldn't really be a challenge if we didn't have a challenge action item associated with the day itself. So we came up with clear action items for each and every one of the day's teachings, allowing those that were taking part in joining us to start seeing the results come to life from the actions that they take with what we taught. And it was pretty cool to see this straight away, just seeing the fact that I gave day one and day two presentation, incorporated the action items, and people were already going out, taking action on what we were talking on, and seeing leads, opportunities, and sales come to life as a result of it. So when you're able to over deliver in that extent, a form of free value, and show the people that are taking part in what you're teaching, the power of what you're teaching itself, it makes it so much easier for you to capture conversions at the end of that event as a whole. So this doesn't have to be just in a five day challenge. This could be in your YouTube content, your Facebook community content. When you're over delivering for your audience with free value, the rule of reciprocity is going to pay you back. The more you give, the more you get. And when you're giving stuff that's actually tangible information, and when you're giving away valuable information that your viewers can actually take learn, get clarity through what you're talking on and implement to get results, it's a powerful combination because what it's going to do is essentially pre-sell them to the point where they want to work with you because they know how your stuff works itself and they know the power of that. So through this challenge, that's what really what I was able to prove is, hey, what I'm teaching you here over these five days works. This is what allowed me to build a six-figure business and I want to start showing you how you can start doing the same thing and creating these results for yourself. So this wasn't in a sense of me showing, hey, you're going to build a six-figure business in five days. In a sense, I was showing the foundations behind what allowed me to make that six-figure year possible, as well as tactics along the way in between that they can execute on in the short term to start seeing some short-term wins and results and start building some momentum through the challenge itself. So by the end of me delivering this five-day challenge, and the very last day, I presented an opportunity and an invitation to everybody that was a live viewer to join me inside my coaching program to work with me at a higher level over the next three months to turn what they learned in this challenge into hands-on support coaching and feedback from myself and my team to help them implement that, make it their own, and achieve greater results with it and actually be armed with everything they need to make that business goal possible. So by the end of the challenge, what I did was extend the invitation for every live viewer that was watching to join me and my team inside of our coaching program to work with us closely over the next three months to take what they learned in this challenge and to get all of the missing pieces of information and knowledge that we share inside of our coaching program and course, along with hands-on support and implementation support along the way to help them turn what they're learning into skills and ultimately into results as those skills come to life. So after extending the invitation to encourage members to actually take part and jump on that invitation to join me in the coaching program, I also limited the number of spots that we were taking down to a limit of, I believe at the time it was seven itself. So this was done for two reasons. Number one, to make sure that everybody watching on that live didn't expect that everybody would be allowed to join because we can only offer a high level coaching service to X amount of people at a time, especially given that point early on in our coaching journey. So I didn't want 50 new members in my coaching program, although it would have been awesome to say, yeah, I just made 50 coaching sales. I have to be able to deliver on what I'm selling. And I know that if there's too many people in that coaching program, I can't deliver the level of intimate support and service that I would choose to offer to help them achieve the results itself. So we capped the number of spots at seven. We extended that invitation at the very end of giving value for five straight days, giving action items and getting members to show up and join us in each and every one of the lives. And by the end of that last day, I extended the opportunity to join me in the coaching program by actually just going to a set page that I had set up just for them with those limited number of spots where they could go click and check out that same day. A few hours after delivering day five's presentation, I was buzzing with energy from all of the excitement, comments, and love on the lives. We had a bunch of comments and engagement on each and every one of the days. And on this final day, a few hours later, I took a look at my Stripe account and I quickly saw sales start to come in. And before I knew it, by the end of that final day, Going into that following Saturday at the end of the week, we had converted five new coaching clients and I had just landed a $12,500 day, just like that. And when looking at that stat further, this essentially means that we had five out of roughly 50 to 60 live attendees during that challenge itself, which means we're at just over a 10% conversion rate on a live event that was free that I did not have to take any sales calls for. And that was pretty awesome to see that result come to life and to see that conversion rate take place through a new free event that I was testing just to see, hey, how does this perform in my business? And what did I learn from this as a whole? So now I wanna get into a few lessons that I learned through this milestone in my online business journey. For those of you that enjoyed this video and wanna hear more videos on me reflecting on milestones and moments in my journey, sharing lessons, takeaways, and breakthroughs for you to take 
and implement in your own business. Comment below and let me know what you thought of this video and what you'd like to see more of going forward on the channel itself. And as always, if you have not yet already, be sure to smash that subscribe button and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video or if you're not yet subscribed to the channel so you're not missing out on any future videos and value that we drop here on the channel itself. With that said, thanks again for watching and I look forward to seeing you back on the next video.